I look like an Oompa Loompas. I feel like an Oompa Loompas. Remember, we cannot argue. Don't okay? Try me. <laughs> I love you. I like you. Mm -mm, I love you. No, I love you. Let's make a video for the people, not no. for you to no. prove a point to I feel that you're sure. always right. I am always right. No, you're not. Say hi! Say hi to camera! <laughs> Any dreams? What did you dream about? <laughs> Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Denise Torres and if you are new to my channel, I post videos every week that encourage and push you to live your best life on a day-to-day -day basis. If you already know me, what's up? Today's video is going to be a little bit different because I got my boo thing over here, <laughs> my hunka bunka with me and I wanted to do this video because I kind of wanted to share with you guys how it is like in our lives to balance marriage ministry and parenthood because it could get real right too real too real and um there's a lot of things that we're going to talk about and i'm really excited about it i just want to introduce this man he is my husband justin and okay so as you can already tell i'm more of like an outgoing jittery person that likes to be social and it's super crazy and he's more of a reserved, just keep it to myself, peaceful, quiet kind of guy. And I'm just super collective, laid back about it. But I do have my social outgoing side, but it comes at limits because once you pass that <laughs> limit, there's no more of that. I just want to go home and just chill. And, and my maximum has, has been like reached. He has like a 5% <laughs> social tension. Yeah, once you go across that border, that's it. And, you know, I don't know how we got together because we're the complete opposite. But I think that's why we're together because we're the complete opposite. I bring the life to him. I bring life to his life. I bring the socialness to his life. And he brings me my peace, my tranquility. I bring reality back <laughs> to her. My saneness. I take her off of cloud nine and I bring her back to reality. <laughs> That's really what it is. <laughs> but I'm really excited that he's here because he's literally my everything. He's my best friend. He is my husband. He's just my partner in crime. We literally do everything together. And before him, I really don't know what my life was because it was a hot mess. But yeah, so in today's video, we're going to talk about how we balance marriage, ministry, and parenthood together in our lives. And some of the things that come along with it and... How you can be able to balance those things out for yourself what he said <laughs> so as you guys know we are christians and whether you're a believer or not i'm a hundred percent sure this is going to work for you because they're practical things that work for anybody it doesn't necessarily stick to one belief or another belief there's just practical ways and the things that we've learned in from our experience Okay, so babe, what do you think are the struggles that we face in our marriage or in our ministry together or just being parents as one? There's a lot of struggles that come with it because you're trying to balance out something that is very needy. Like all three things are very needy and they demand a lot of attention. Your marriage demands a lot of attention. Your ministry demands a lot of attention. And of course, being a parent, your children... They demand a lot of attention, especially when you have younger ones. They're really needy. It's more like you struggle with being able to split yourself and, and being able to focus on all three things at one time. That is something that is definitely a struggle. Time management is something that's definitely of the essence. I think that's true. We do need to. I think one of the practical things that you can start doing or start learning is time management because you only get so many hours throughout the day and if you're like me and you stay home with the baby and take care of the baby um you and you have a business on the side and you have church and you're involved in your church you have to learn how to manage all of those things at once because you can't 
go in and go hard on one thing and reject other things like i can't just focus solely on my business or focus solely on cleaning the house without giving my son attention and teaching things and i can't i can't reject one or the other i have to know the balance to handle all three of them together and i think that's where the struggle is maybe some people don't know how to manage it or some people don't realize that that they're rejecting one area and focusing so putting more attention on one thing like one of the things that you can start doing is maybe like I spoke in my last video is set yourself like a planner um, start writing things down that is of the essence because I never used to do this before I never used to write anything down and ever since if you watched my last video you heard me and my husband argue about this like a year ago I want to say one. whatever <laughs> and he was right like once I started doing something that small it changed my whole life so you should start writing things down start getting yourself a planner making sure that you have time for this time for that like the bible says there's a time to reap there's a time to sow there's a time to spend time with family there's a time to laugh there's a time to cry there's a time for everything so you have to give yourself that time and make that time let's talk about time management in marriage first how do you feel that we have come to an agreement to manage time for ourselves. We are privileged that we have our in-laws as babysitters, so that definitely helps. <laughs> Not everybody has that. So just speaking, like if, if we didn't have that because there's times that we don't utilize it, uh, we always take advantage of the time that Noah takes his, his naps. When it's time for us, it's time for us. We watch a movie together. Sometimes we even do like little things. Like we'll just eat ice cream in the house together. Like we make date nights a thing in our home. And yeah. That's one thing that I think most people should understand is that you don't necessarily have to spend a lot of money just to enjoy each other's company. You just have to find what you like about the person and start to pick at those things and bring those bring the good out of each other. So that way you guys can enjoy the good parts of each other and just avoid the things that are bad. Work on those areas. So even if we have to bring out the Jenga box and we'll bring out Jenga, we'll play together at home. Play a game together. Have, play Mario. We play Mario on the Super <laughs> Nintendo. We Which do is that. pretty fun. That is fun. And you're always and winning. I'm always winning. I'm always losing. So we'll do that. We'll discuss YouTube videos. We'll watch Netflix. We'll you know. work on our business together. We'll do a lot of things like that. So yeah. What do you think? Okay, so I think... I think what you said is true. I think that um, one of the th cool things that I think you said was creating date nights at our house. Like we make that important, and I didn't really notice that we we really do that. I th I thought that was something that just kind of comes natural to us, but we really do create date nights. Like almost every single night, we watch a movie together, we eat ice cream together, and it always happens when no one goes to sleep. Because if you are parents then yes, you gotta take advantage of all the free time that you have when he's asleep. As a new parent, because we are new parents, our son is only like one years old, it was a little bit hard for us in the beginning to leave him with grandma and grandpa or to just leave him by himself because we became so attached. And I think that's normal for every new parent because it's your baby, it's your first baby. It's yours you know you feel like you always have to protect it and nobody's gonna take care of them the way that you are gonna take care of them so I think it's important for you to make time to leave the baby with grandma and grandpa because they're gonna be okay nothing's gonna happen to them and go out and enjoy yourself and do something that you guys love to do go to the beach go to the movies go have some ice cream go have dinner um, go hang out with friends and go to a social place or I don't know whatever it is that you guys want to do do that okay, so the next thing that we want to talk to you about is time management and ministry what do you have to say about that that one is probably the toughest one and it's because it's something <laughs> that you're committed to all the time and it's something that's super hard to say no to at times too if you're the type that's really committed to it yeah. for real. and because this is something that's a part of our lives and that we enjoy to do it's like something that's added on to having time for ourselves and being parents at the same time and having a job because we're real people and we have jobs ministry one thing is that if, if i can say would probably help the most is serve god with excellence but less is more 
you know you don't want to get involved in too much that you don't have nothing no time for anything else really most people should agree to this but don't understand is that they think that church is your relationship with God and that if you're in church all day all day all day that basically takes up the time for your prayer and everything that takes God's place your your private time with God and it doesn't you have to have your church life but you also have to have your private time with God alone you and him mm -hmm. and if you're just involved in church all day and it's taking away time from your family and it's taking away time from your your wife you know like it's, there's nothing wrong with being in church you should be in church that's not what I'm saying but you have to manage your household too so for us we we make sure that we just don't get involved in too much we get involved in in the ministry but we also make sure that when we are involved in the ministry that we give it with excellence we serve it with excellence too. right so that way as we're involved we're serving the best and we're giving God our best but we're not getting overwhelmed either because we don't want to get overwhelmed to the point that we can't balance life out with everything else that's going on too and I love church. To be honest, I love to be in church. It's a part of my life now before I was involved in other things that weren't godly related. And now that I have God in my life, to be honest, it's all I really want to be around. I just want to go to church. And people always ask me, like, why do you have to go to church so much? Like, if it's something that I'm forced to do, I'm really not forced to be in church. I choose to be in church because it's kind of like my social life nowadays and it's just something that i enjoy doing everything that we do that's godly related it's something that we enjoy to do so ministry should be something that you enjoy that you find passion in that you love to do because it's a part of your life it's a part of who you are you know and i think that you should find time to be able to be in ministry like he said to be in ministry as much as you want because it's your passion it's your life but also remember that there is life outside of church. You know, like there's life outside of the building and that maybe you need to reach other people or you need to spend time with your family and you need to, um, you know, just have friends and go out and do other, other things, other outings because you cannot be in ministry and reject everything else in your life. Like you cannot reject your family and that's the first priority that you should not do and you can't not only reject like family wise like me and justin as a married couple and and noah but family like your aunts your uncles your cousins your brothers your sisters you shouldn't reject them and you should spend time with them and you know just genuinely have time for everything and find the balance in that and i think that you know they should be able to respect that you are involved in ministry so probably 80% of your life is going to be involved in church. So just to recap, ministry is life. It's our life, but we do find balance and we find time to spend outside of the church building itself to be with our families, to have a social life, to be with our friends. And um, I think that you guys will be able to find that balance as well. All right, guys, so last but not least, let's find time in parenthood. Because 99% of your life, especially with a toddler, is chasing after a baby. Like, how do you find time in being a good parent to Noah without losing your mind? Because <laughs> I think I probably lost my mind a couple of times. <laughs> Well, yeah. You made and me no, you definitely yeah. lost your mind a I couple of times. But I found, I found my mind. I know, I find my mind, but I lose it for like five seconds. It, the toddler stage is definitely real. <laughs> they say that, you know, it's having real. a baby, having an infant is hard. That was the easy part. No, that was super that was easy. easy. Like, I miss him being yeah. so little. He would just sleep all the time and eat. That's it. Mm -hmm. It was just milk. Now it's like you got to figure out what to feed the baby because now they eat real food. They eat human food. So you got to. And we don't really eat out like that anymore. Like, we don't have Noah eat out. I prefer to make food at home just because it's more sanitary for me and it's just healthier for the baby. So I have to. I have to find time to cook food because, man, and that boy can eat. 
He eats. Yo, like... Dude can eat. He eats a he lot. Eat like, I feel like he eats food, but he likes to snack more than no, anything. he's a snacker. Like, he's he has to walk snacker. around with a bag of Cheerios all the time. <laughs> I don't understand what's the deal that he has to constantly keep snacking. It's, like, not that serious, but he keeps doing it. But Noah is has been the biggest blessing of our lives i'm so thankful to have a beautiful baby boy because he is the best he is so funny he is full of personality i think he got that for me i don't know yeah he definitely got his personality for me because he's funny and crazy and he's always laughing which i'm so thankful for because he's such a happy baby but i think to find time to be good parents because i don't think a parent should just listen for your baby in case he cries or he does anything i think being good parents and finding time is actually spending time with the baby play with the baby have fun with the baby teach him new things talk to him teach him how to talk i think a part of being parents it it is a little bit difficult because we're still learning like we're not experts in any of this guys like we are still legitly learning about all these areas but i think i think the most important thing about being parents and um finding time for your child is to enjoy that time like your child is a blessing it's your blessing and changing your perspective to think that god gave you this offspring and he trusted you with this yeah and perspective is everything because if you're just always looking at your child and even if they're screaming you're just thinking about that all the time then you lose out on the time that you're really earning with them which you're gonna one day grow old and they're gonna grow up older and then you're gonna look back and realize wow i didn't make nothing of their time as as a child and it's a shame when that happens so instead of doing that change the perspective and let your perspective be that of understanding that they are blessings you know god gave us children and for us to enjoy them as they're young while they grow up then we teach them so just looking at your child every day and just saying things to yourself like wow that's my child you know god gave me that baby and observing their little characteristics and everything that you that they do you would appreciate them much more and that's going to drive you to want to spend better time with them Thank you guys so much for watching. This is my first time that my husband is here with me and I enjoyed it for the first time that I really felt comfortable. I actually feel more comfortable with you being in the video with me because I feel like I'm actually talking to somebody and not just to a camera that doesn't talk back. So thanks for making me feel more comfortable. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave me a comment down below or like this video and let me know which one of these topics do you feel that you struggle the most with? Which one of these probably has helped? I hope that you subscribe to my channel, support your girl, show me some love, let's be friends, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!